Hello and welcome everyone back to our Total War Rome 2 DI campaign as Massilia. When we had last left off, we had crushed the Roman settlement of Batavium and the rebellion in Genoa. And now we have our little army over here, which should make its way south as soon as possible. But for now, hmm, can we pick up any new troops? I wonder. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Let's end the turn. So I wonder where we're gonna progress after we finally crush the Romans in Brundisia and Constantia. I am pretty sure being allied to the Carthaginians cannot last forever. We need to build up our own secure power base so that we are strong enough to resist the Carthaginians. Our vast trading network in Iberia should at least give us a heads up on whether the Carthaginians are making progress like in that area. But eventually, it's going to be a big war. A very, very big war. Blah, 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 blah. Hurry up. Sabotage. Uh, that wasn't what I wanted because that's going to cause public order issues, I'm very sure. Let's actually research up to there. These guys move on to Aretium. Let's build a temple here. Let's make him bureaucrat as well. Hunger for battle. Come fight with us. I wonder, I wonder. Never mind, let's burn through the entrance for now. Let's not dawdle so much but as we continue marching our army southwards. Looks like Romans have raised up another legion. They're surprisingly resilient, aren't they? Oh well. Let's actually take a look at our victory conditions next turn. So we kind of know what we're in for. And what we need to achieve. And it's winter. Oh, these guys can't even make it off of Rathium. These guys can actually head north. I think it's vital for us to move our troops south as fast as possible. Now everyone's picking on the Romans. Bloody hell. Anyway, let's see. Yep, we cannot ally the Carthaginians for too long. 
and we have to push north as well. So looks like we need to push south fast. It looks like we have a lot of food here. Let's end the turn again. Hopefully neither the Syracusans or Wow. At least we march our army southwards. Hopefully they can make it at least to within reinforcement range of Neapolis by next turn. You would think the Romans would care more about defending Brundisium or Croton. But nope, they're focused on us yet again. Let's fight this one. What are those units? I've never actually seen these guys before. Maybe I should have looked at them for a bit. Never to fear. This should be a battle that we win anyway. After this, we will hit to Brundisium, then to Croton. I'm more focused on getting, making sure the Epirotes don't get a foothold in, because if we betray the Syracusans, so be it. We have to do that sooner or later anyway to make sure Magna Gracia is ours. Let's wait. Let's deploy. Again, I am very sure that because Pigurian Skirmishers, Triari, Pelites Extraordinarii. Again, I don't like fighting the forest. I am more or less certain at this point that the ballista will actually force them to engage us. Again, I'm proven right. We actually outnumber them. So this might be interesting. We will array our forces respectively. Our ballista has opened fire, which means the Romans will be agitated at this point. They have far more infantry than us, which is most unfortunate.
this unit just ate the charge without replying. We have shattered them. Time to put behind our own lines. Pull back, pull back. Pull our general over, stop the ballista fire at this point. Ugh. Ugly Jeff intro. So oh, these hoplites are gonna be screwed if we don't provide them support fast enough. We will pull the lances out. These guys probably got a very deadly charge off. Let's pull back the calf. Let's pull back these guys. The oblites here seem to have won the duke it out. Although they're not too healthy so we might have to bring in a rear charge over here. Let's start flanking them. Let's start sending in rear charges. We've broken that unit. We've broken the enemy general. Probably lost a lot more men than we should have. Go we'll rest this unit. Just keep launching rear charges. Let's pull these guys out. We've broken this unit. 
pulls the Ceresas out. Charge these guys. Pasuda We seem to be wrapping up this battle at this point We're gonna drop a very massive blow over here in a while. You do not want to be these guys. I expected the charge to do a lot better, honestly. These guys should be dealt with. Let's pull a cav out. Okay, the hit charge is gonna do a lot of damage. Let's end the battle. A decisive victory. Don't think too many Roman units will get away, I said maybe the general again. Cause Roman generals have a knack of running away when the men die in their state. Most unfortunate. But after this, the path to Brundisium and Croton should be rather open. Again, the Ballista did their main job, which is to lure our opponents into attacking us in better positions while our infantry held out long enough for our Kev to just wrap things up Slingers did quite poorly because we didn't use them well I guess and they aren't, Rome, they aren't Rodians or Cretans that we're used to in our Nossos campaign attack power significantly drops off 
when we take Magna Gracia, I'm probably going to replace them with Crossbow Infantry, which are far far superior from what I've seen them do. Got money in our coffers. He can go manage the north. What is this army lacking at this point? Who knows? Oh, it's not Croton, it's Cosentia, right. Next turn, this army will head to Brundisium. Hopefully, before the Epirotes can get there. And the Romans are sending their forces northwards for some reason. Looks like they sang up navy though, so I guess it kind of works out for them. They're probably poisoning my army. We crushed the Romans pretty strongly actually, thinking about it. Quite brutal one-sided affairs. Hopefully we'll be able to auto-resolve the siege. Darkness gathers. You can be the light for my people. I ask humbly. No, thank you. As I thought, we've been sabotaged. We'll continue heading towards Brundisium, I guess. This army up north is actually quite substantial right now. Hmm. Maybe it's about time we raise an agent. Let's recruit a champion for the army. We'll attach him later. We can actually... Nope, we can only recruit one. Most unfortunate. How's culture doing here. <laughs> Nine local tradition, that's pretty strong. Guess we'll upgrade the temple. Let's end the turn again. Hopefully the Romans don't Well let's take the army outside the city. In that way, we can lure everybody out to an open field battle, which our troops should perform admirably. Especially considering that we know the Romans will engage us because of the ballista that we have. This has actually been a rather quiet episode, no form of territorial expansion or major battles per se.
oracles at Delphi. Surprisingly enough, because we're nowhere near that. Let's attack this. And this will be the battle for next part, where we will take Brundisium by killing everybody outside of the city walls itself. So, hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen. It's not been the most exciting episode. But yeah. If you like what you're seeing, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. If you got anything to say, put it in the comments below. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care.